Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. We are back in the 1.16 survival world and today is Wednesday, obviously snapshot day. There was a snapshot released but it only fixed some bugs, it changed some names of some items and just stuff like that. So I didn't uh, see the point in streaming. It changed the name of the soul torch, it's now called the soul torch instead of the soul fire. Same with the soul lantern and same with the campfire. Uh, they are, they ain't called Soul Fire anymore. They're just called Soul and a new item. They also updated the smithing table um, thing to have a Neverite hammer sort of thing. Um, now the ing ingot slot there and the upgrade gear there. So that's more uh, better now, which is really good because that was quite plain before. But yeah, that is basically all they've added. They've made um, like. Uh, the loot in the pigling um, bastions a bit uh, more level. I don't know how they've done that. And they've also made um, the nether portals a bit more uh, rarer. So they won't spawn as much. So there's not that many changes. They're not going to get out, are they? No. But off camera, I have been quite busy. I have down here. Uh, I've changed the floors out on these because for some reason he kept dying so I had to keep getting another one back I haven't done the one on there yet because uh, I was doing this literally just before the stream started but here I've got all the mob names just so if any of them die I don't forget and um, so we've got pandas foxes mushrooms obviously we haven't named turtles we haven't named prisoners which are these rocky beastie and gimpy uh, the fish and that is it at the moment then on the wall here, I've got things that I would like to do in this world. Um, a to-do list, basically, so I want to build a slime farm, build a witch farm, finish the base, build an enderman farm, fix the wither rose farm, get more beacons for around the base. I want one in each uh, circle, so that's going to need five. Uh, do up the end portal room, build a better pigling farm, uh, build a better bee farm. I can't do that until I've done the uh, witch farm. Uh, do the witch farm because then that will provide the bottles for that and fix the iron farm which the uh, fixing the iron farm I have actually done that lectern hasn't got anything in it uh, but if I head on over to the iron farm or what was the iron farm as you can see it has now been changed if I fly out this way a bit I've now built like a uh, what I think to be a pistia pistian a pigling bastion and I have used a data pack from uh, vanilla tweaks I'll link the website down which is customized customizable armor stands and um, which makes it so you can make the armor stands um, have heart arms they can lay down as that little baby piglings doing right there uh, you can do it by if I find it, it is in um, backpack you can do it by this book and how this book works is basically you just right click uh, next to it and open the book then you click uh, check target it will give them like the glowing effect and then literally you can do uh, you can show base which that's that thing there uh, show arms make it a baby um, make it so it has gravity or not make it so the stand isn't visible and you can also have a name appear above it and I think whatever you put now if you put a name tag onto it it will now show the name that you name tagged I'm pretty sure, um, but we don't want that at the moment. Um, also, you can move it uh, pixels. You can make it so it's in a certain um, standing position. So death, it makes it laying down. The legs don't actually move with it though. Uh, if we done formal, it'll stand there formal with the hands behind its back. Uh, and yeah, so on. So you can do quite a lot with it. Uh, winning, for example. Um, and you can also put the items so they're flat on the floor like this. So what I've done is I've put these so they're like guarding the edge of the tower um, And I've also made a banner which is gonna be the banner for this area um, But yeah, I've put some a pile of gold with a bell on top and then I filled some chests up with some gold items and also some pigling heads I might even put hoggling heads in there and um, how I got these is I actually done it through um, a command um, I did trade in some diamonds for the heads because obviously you can't obtain them um, you will be able to once 1.16 fully releases once again through a data pack but as of yet you cannot so 
I just gave it, and then I'm still going to put more gold items uh, spotted around as if someone's tried to steal them. Uh, these uh, piglings have attacked them, and they've, the gold has just dropped. But this is coming together. I really like it. And I have also removed the strider thing that was there, and I have also removed the bee farm that was there. So this is now basically like a never uh, only island, and I really like it. There's a skeleton horse right there. Um, is he or the, he must be the one that I tamed a few episodes ago. Right, so if I get up here and go down into this, you'll soon see uh, what this, this is actually an iron farm. I know the gold and all that don't match it, but obviously you can't, I can make an iron farm or a gold farm in the overworld, but it'd be, be nowhere near as efficient as the ones you build in the nether. So this is an iron farm. And um, what happens is then villagers see the zombie which makes uh, the villagers panic Which then spawns iron golems either up on that platform or on either one of them If they spawn up on that platform they get pushed down into that and they get pushed into lava which then kills them And their loot goes straight down into these chests Which I have already ch uh, changed loads of it into blocks So it's working quite well Which is a good thing Um I'm still working on the inside of this, as you can see, it's still not the best thing. Um, but yeah, we we're slowly working on it. Uh, as you can see, an iron golem literally just spawned as we were coming up. But yeah, so this is a, area is coming along well. And I like it. I need to light up that area still, it isn't lit up just yet. Um, but yeah, I also changed the tent. The tent was given to me given to me by um, one of my mods. I will link the, uh, put a picture on screen um, now. But before we go do anything else, I actually want to, I need to know eight names. Uh, four for the, actually no. We're gonna not name these yet because I still need to get a trident uh, to make them brown mushroom or mushrooms. So I need four names uh, for the turtles. If I go over here, we've got one, two, three, and four. And how I got these, one of them, no, I'm pretty sure they're all from eggs. I did get one over here, but then that one was uh, kept just walking into that wall, trying to get back over to its uh, to normal beach. So I went over there, bred some up, brought the eggs back here, because if you move the eggs wherever you place them, that'll then be their new home. So if you place them here and an eggs hatch here, they will always go back to this beach here. Obviously they can't get out of here, but if they did, they'd always try to get back into this area. Which is good. These three ain't moving from there, I don't know why. Um, they're just hogging this corner. Same with the pandas though. The pandas are literally hogging... There's two that are hogging... Oh, they've moved. Okay, so there's now two there, two there. They used to be hogging that leaf uh, pile over there. They would not move from there. I keep breaking the bamboo because I keep thinking they might be stuck on the bamboo or something. But they're not. So I'm glad they've moved. Right, so what we're going to do in today's episode um, is actually... Oh, 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 there we go. Is actually try and get a trident. Because we need a trident with channeling on to get our brown mushrooms. Um, and all this in chat is from the um, armor stands. It doesn't appear in chat unless you turn it off and I just haven't yet. Right, so right, I'm flying around looking for tridents and I've actually found a... Two things. I found... Uh, that's our stronghold, I'm pretty sure. And I found a uh, never portal ruin. So this is an ungenerated terrain because I did reset this um, a few hours before this recording. So they're not that rare. Uh, this one's pretty much on my base. My base is about 100 so blocks in that direction. Um, about between two to 300 blocks. So now let's start a time lapse of me actually looking for drowns trying to get a trident. <laughs>
So guys, I gave up trying to hunt for tridents, so or drowns to get tridents. So I actually built a trident farm. Um, I'll show you a time lapse of that in just a second. But before I show you the time lapse, two things. First thing, I know I could have been using water breathing conduit or um, a turtle helmet to make it so I could breathe underwater more. I just couldn't be asked to make the potions or the conduit. One. Conduit, I don't have the resources for the conduit just yet. That's another reason why I've built a trident farm. Two, uh, the potions would have took way too long. By the time I brewed them, I could have built the farm. Because you've got to do the uh, all the stuff with it until I get a, um automatic brewing room done. We're just doing it like this for now. But I'll show you that time lapse now. Right, so guys, now that you've seen the time lapse, here is the trident farm or the drown farm. So all I need to do is AFK a few uh, blocks up in the sky, 24 uh, plus. I'll probably go around 32 blocks up into the sky. Um, and I hear a trident. Oh my god, go into the farm. No, don't follow me. He's got his eyes on me now. So if I just like back away, he should go into the farm. Or will he stay looking at me now? He's spinning down. I haven't even done. I haven't done anything in never just yet. Let's go down and kill him quick. This dude gives me a trident now. Let's break. Did he? Uh, no trident in my infantry, and don't look like there's a trident floating up or anything. And uh, no, no trident. Okay. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna AFK at this overnight. Um, and I'll see you in the next episode to see how well this done. So guys, I know that was a short little video, uh, but it's just a thingy, just a little video because I haven't recorded in a couple of days. I haven't recorded in about a week actually because I pre-recorded a lot of videos uh, for the last week. So he threw a trident over there. But yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget, the link for the Discord will be in the description down below. So I'll see you guys on Friday for another episode. Bye.